So the last uh, term in the uh, decomposition was S mu nu alpha beta. We are talking about Ricci decomposition, and which was given as R n n minus one h mu nu alpha beta, where R is called the scalar curvature or Ricci scalar. Um, h mu nu alpha beta is g mu alpha g beta nu minus g mu beta g nu alpha. Now we know r is given as r mu mu which means it's being obtained after contracting the, rim, uh, the Ricci tensor uh, over its own indices. Uh, you can see it's a scalar so it's independent of the coordinate system. Now what is the physical interpretation? Well Ricci uh, scalar tells um, so if you, ha you have a Riemann manifold some Riemannian surface and if you draw a small ball then this such that the the tangent to the ball at this point is same as the tangent to the Riemann surface then the volume of um, the manifold divided by volume of um, if the same ball was actually placed in Euclidean space is given as 1 minus r over 6 n plus 2 e square. e is the radius of the ball, small radius and r can actually be a negative number or a positive number so the the manifold can be have a smaller radius than the um, Euclidean counterpart or a bigger actually smaller volume than the Euclidean part or a larger volume than the Euclidean counterpart. Now um, so this basically is a scalar it assigns a number at each at each point uh, on the manifold now if uh, it's a flat space time we know the number will be same throughout so if you take a sphere small sphere and wherever you put you move is the volume of the sphere is going to be same let's talk about three dimensional space then we can clearly see that wherever you put the volume of this sphere is not going to change uh, so it assigns the same number throughout and um, actually Ricci scalar is sort of oblivious of this fact that number here is same as the number in its neighboring point but Riemann tensor is aware of this fact because Riemann tensor Oh, sorry, Ricci tensor is aware of this fact. Ricci tensor tells how volume um, element changes as you move on space time curvature. So, this is space time curvature. Um, so th you can say in a sort of way you can, you can say that and you, got, you, you can see that you, if you have a Ricci tensor and you move from uh, yeah and you move from many different places all these depend on the curvature so let's say there's some curvature present so Ricci ten uh, tensor tells how much change there is a curvature if you move on to this point so in a way you can say in a hand waving way that uh, scalar curvature. Now, if this flat space, then we know that all this uh, volume will be same. So, scalar curvature is sort of an um, average 
of uh, Ricci tensor in terms if you talk in terms of this volume so the basic idea is that the scalar curvature compares the volume of uh, a, a, vol the, a, a spherical or a volume if you, if you make a spherical ball in any n-dimensional space if the volume of this ball is um, uh, uh, larger or smaller than the volume of the ball if it was just flat space then there is a um, curvature present and which is uh, accounted by this scalar curvature. Okay, we'll talk more.